Big story today, that house explosion in Portage County. Home video shows the explosion that just left this pile of rubble. That's all that's left after a home exploded early this morning. A woman and her 21-year-old grandson died during the explosion, which could be felt for miles around. It happened in the 800 block of Martin Road in Suffield Township, and people as far away as Canton emailed News Channel 5 telling us that they could feel it. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska has more from the scene. The victim's daughter told me today that just last Thursday, her mom had the, the home's propane tank filled up with 500 pounds of propane gas. The house was heated with propane. The fire chief doesn't blame the tank outside, but is looking at pipes, valves, and the furnace in the basement. We are suspecting uh, it's some type of a malfunction with the propane gas system in the house. Now that could be the plumbing and, or an appliance. And it was boom and you know, I thought lightning hit. Neighbor Ron Balka ran outside and saw the victim's daughter who lives next door to her mom in shock. Home video shows the home engulfed in flames after the massive explosion. Talk to her and you know she's crying and I noticed the cars were in the garage and the flames were pretty close and I told her you know let's get away from here you know in case they go up. 63-year-old Regina Proudfoot and her 21-year-old grandson who was living with her, Robert Croft, were killed in the blast. Regina has four daughters. Her husband built the couple's dream house but died before they moved in last November. <laughs> Neighbors all have natural gas but said the Proudfoots lived so far from the road, a natural gas line was too expensive. Croft, a Diebold employee, graduated from Field High School in 08. His buddy said, they couldn't have had a more loyal friend. If you needed something, I mean, he was always there, didn't matter what it was, for when it was, you know. If you were loyal to him, he was loyal to you. So, definitely had a lot of good times together. Best friend a kid could have, I mean, he was there with you for everything. Just a regular kid, one of the boys, just hung out with, did everything with. It's hard to believe he's gone. This huge explosion also damaged homes throughout this neighborhood. Look at the damage it caused to this front porch nearby. Coming up at 6 o'clock, more on that part of the story. We'll go inside the house to show you the damage. Reporting in Portage County, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.